Earth 4.5 billion years ago. The pale blue dot we know today was anything but suitable for life. Glowing red and fiery hot, volcanoes erupt over the entire molten surface. The average temperature is well over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, much hotter than even lava. The planet, just born, was constantly under a barrage of meteor impacts. In fact, a Mars-sized object would soon crash into young Earth and form the Moon. You couldn't live there, and breathing is certainly out of the question. Those continuous volcanic eruptions released toxic gases into the sky. Our Earth had almost no atmosphere. But then, life found a way. Chemical reactions from those same volcanic eruptions would help create an atmosphere. The planet cools and hardens, water appears, oceans form. They fill with microorganisms that release a rush of oxygen into the air. The atmosphere becomes breathable. Complex life appears and evolves. And the rest, as they say, is history. Now imagine that atmosphere, the very thing we breathe, our warm blanket, the planet's protective bubble, was gone in the blink of an eye. But not for long, just five quick seconds. Surely we can handle it, right? Time slows down and one second in, everything immediately becomes silent. Just imagine, you're screaming or saying something, but no one can hear your voice, just like in outer space. There's no atmosphere for sound waves to travel through. You can now only feel vibrations in the ground. Right now, life on Earth is like being in a vacuum. The planet has also lost the shield that protects us from solar energy. The sun's rays are too strong and toxic to handle. These rays are usually filtered when they pass through the atmosphere. The heat gets distributed throughout the planet evenly. But at this moment, the most unlucky are those sunbathing on the beach. But most people don't feel it yet. In the first second, they can only feel the temperature increasing. Many plants aren't as lucky as humans. They're less protected and get scorched in this brief second. But the worst thing is that oxygen stops being created in nature. Grass, trees, plants, flowers, all of them absorb carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Using the sun's energy, they convert this gas into oxygen. You probably remember learning about this in school. It's photosynthesis. But most of our precious oxygen actually comes from the ocean. Well, the seaweed and microorganisms in it. The ocean releases a huge amount of oxygen that rises into the sky. Then, the atmosphere distributes it throughout the planet. Now, without that natural distributor, we can't get that precious gas our bodies need. Humans won't feel it in the first second, but for many other living beings, this moment can be critical. Two seconds with no atmosphere. People outside get sunburned, Beachgoers can't rely on their umbrella for protection. It'll soon be scorched by the hot rays. In places where the weather is bad now, all the clouds dissipate. Because of the high temperature, water evaporates into space. Where it's night now, a new ice age begins. The heat has stopped spreading evenly all over the planet. The rain turns to ice. Heavy hail starts. Most living nocturnal animals are freezing. People out on the streets of big cities at night don't freeze in the first couple seconds. Cities create their own heat, and it saves residents, for now. The climate that was once so varied, warm, dry, rainy, wet, windy, it's reduced to only two options, extremely hot and extremely cold. Water begins to boil in lakes, rivers, seas, and oceans, but not because of the hot temperature but a pressure drop. The air disappears. There's no longer a boundary between space and the planet. The sun's shining, but the sky's losing its color. Blue is replaced by black. The Earth becomes like the moon. The planet is bombarded by solar storms. There are flashes of energy that shoot out in all directions from the sun. 
Without an atmosphere to protect us, the storms disable all electronics, lights go out, the internet stops working, and cell towers are broken. Three seconds in. Nature has taken a real hit because of the extreme temperatures, but the worst is yet to come. The atmosphere protects us not only from the sun's energy, but also from space debris. Thousands of satellites have been disabled and are now falling to Earth. They start to rain down on this planet. And with no warning, usually meteors and anything else falling toward Earth get entirely burnt up in the atmosphere before they even reach the planet's surface. Our world's gravity pulls them in at breakneck speeds. The air resistance is too much and friction skyrockets. A flame ignites and you can see falling stars in the sky. Not anymore. The nightmarish rain will take us by surprise. If the atmosphere doesn't come back soon, small coin-sized meteorites will pierce through houses, cars, fields, roads, everything. Larger meteorites the size of a soccer ball could create a powerful blast. Places everywhere will spend billions of dollars on repairs. It's impossible to be in the sunny parts of the planet. The temperature is too high. The luckiest ones, whether human or animal, are underground. People in the subway don't feel the heat. They're also protected from the sun's toxic energy. Everyone has trouble breathing. Not enough air to fill your lungs. The world is starting to panic. Four seconds in. Many are starting to feel dizzy. Some lose consciousness. The cells of your body stop being saturated with oxygen. Your body responds in a panic and starts pumping out adrenaline. Heart rate increases, pupils dilate. The brain tries to find a solution, but fails. People start to get even more nervous. They'll remember this short-term shock for a lifetime. Five seconds with no atmosphere. There's much less oxygen to breathe. Algae and plants are burning or freezing. Small rivers and lakes have almost dried up completely. They're down to a quarter of their size. Usually, the force of gravity pulls birds down, but they flap their wings, push off the air resistance, and rise up. Now, the airflow is gone, and only gravity remains. Birds are falling from the sky, flapping their wings helplessly. They're joined by airplanes. Just when it looks like it'll be a true horror scene, snap, and the atmosphere returns. The planet fills with oxygen and heat. Birds manage to rise in the sky again. Pilots get control of the yoke and save millions. The black sky returns to blue. The sun's rays don't burn so much. The heat gets distributed all around. The temperature rises in cold places. People can take a deep breath. Bodies of water stop boiling. Surviving plants resume the process of photosynthesis. You hear your own voice and other sounds again. Life returns to normal. Oh, well, don't forget the meteorites. Hundreds of cosmic rocks and space debris start to burn up, but it's too late. They're too close to the surface and don't burn up entirely. Several meteorites fall into the sea and form tsunamis. The ones that crash into the ground wreak havoc. Luckily, the rain is over as fast as it began. No one can use their phone yet because the connection hasn't been restored after the solar storm. The only question on everyone's mind is, what just happened? The atmosphere's vanishing for a mere five seconds showed how much our planet truly needs it. Humanity won't stand a chance if the atmosphere disappears forever. Fortunately, we have technologies that allow us to monitor the state of our planetary shield. If it disappears, we must be prepared for it. People will build large domes that won't allow solar storms to pass through. Inside, we'll create an artificial atmosphere that maintains a normal temperature and pressure. It filters the sun's rays so plants can release oxygen. Outside the domes, Earth will look more like Mars. You'll only be able to go out there in a spacesuit. Anybody who couldn't get a place under the domes will go underground. They'll live deep enough to be protected from the sun. It'll be impossible for them to use our star for energy. So, they'll take it from the Earth's core. 
and no need to worry about a reliable source of water. There are rivers and lakes underground. But who knows? Perhaps humanity will have already found a new habitable planet. So if the atmosphere ever suddenly disappeared, we'd be watching from a distance.